At Arby's, it's about inspiring smiles through delicious experiences. And that's what we want when anybody walks into the restaurant. Mapping's a good way to visually show, especially when we talk about restaurant company. We've got restaurants all over the country. We've got hierarchies like most restaurant companies do. We've got areas and districts and regions. So we can map restaurants at those level and we can aggregate them up using lat and lawn. But in the remodel, we actually plotted the stores, their latitude and longitude on a map. And as a store, we would have animated over time. And as a store closed for remodel, you would see the stores around it their sales would actually grow, and then as the store reopened, the stores around to the sales would shrink, and then they wouldn't recover because you got this new fancy store close by. So you'd actually see customers migrate from old stores to remodeled stores. And what the dashboard has really helped them do is one, to provide an accurate way to quickly track the progress of remodels week by week, but also prove that, hey, the remodels really do help, and we increase the number of remodels from 2014 to 2015 by fivefold, and then I'm hearing in 2016 we're gonna do more remodel. So it's it's shown that we need to spend more money remodeling our restaurants, freshening up the look, that it really has helped the business. Another unexpected benefit was in our remodel dashboard, our FPNA group actually approached us and said, we're tired of Excel taking six hours. And this was a group that doesn't really care a whole lot about data visualization for the most part. And we were able to partner with them, one, eliminate their six hour process in Excel, still give them the grids that they, the finance guys like, but at the same time, give them a map that shows the progress of our remodel restaurants and how it impacts other restaurants. Now we're able to take some of our evaluation data and put it in a dashboard. We're able to take some of the other um, qualitative scores, if you will, uh, from the restaurant and start plotting that and, and showing how does that relate to, to some other metrics. When you look at a receipt, uh, a receipt that says, hey, it's I'm Carl and I bought a beef and cheddar combo and had a shake and used a coupon. All that information can just be used for, for quantitative analysis, but if you can correlate it with a guest experience survey, now you can say this guy either had a good experience or he didn't, and is he likely to come back or is he likely to use a coupon again or whatever it is. I'd say right now we're still early on the guest experience data. Um, we just switched providers for that. So I'd say the best experience for the best uh, story around that would be around a promotion that we did last year um, that where a customer would give a dollar and then they'd get a two dollar coupon back and the, the give a dollar is for a charity so we used tableau in fact our controller came to me and said hey could you see what we can do with tableau because we're seeing some some funny things with just the data coming they, they could tell someone right but they didn't know what it was but we produced the dashboard we put it out in the field and the directors in the field made the changes and you could see that we got the issue corrected so we're seeing operations actually make changes because they were able to see the data and see what was going on. So that was a, a real financial impact that saved the company some money and saved uh, our foundation as well some money. 